everybody, this is Rebecca with the Roma Hut Institute and today I have a super easy recipe for you. We're going to be making dishwasher tabs or what do you call these? Pods. <laughs> Are you still buying these things? Wow, they're expensive. I went to the grocery store last night and I think this particular one was like between six and eight dollars and then some of them were even more than that. I was like oh my gosh this is outrageous. I'm gonna throw these things away because they've been here for a long time and I don't want to use that anymore. With this recipe you only need about three ingredients plus your essential oils. What we're going to be using is our baking soda which is great less than 50 cents. Citrus acid which I got this from Hobby Lobby. You can find it at any craft store um, I think even the grocery store might have it with the canning goods and supplies and some dishwashing soap. You could use Dawn if you want to have that degreasing factor, but I just had some of this on hand, so that's what I'm going to use. And then essential oil. Now with ours, I'm going to use lemon and I have the sweet orange. So we could do a combination or we could just do one particular fragrance that you want to use. You're going to need some kind of mold to put your pods in or tabs. This one is silicon and it's bendable, very flexible. It's gonna help when you try to get it out of this. These are great to have. These are small. You can buy any kind of size you want. And then you're gonna need your measuring cups and spoons and a jar to put your tabs or pods in next to the sink when you're ready to use them. Okay, let's get started. Wanna go ahead and get our baking soda. We're gonna be using one cup of baking soda, a quarter cup of citric acid. Now this is what's going to give it the fizzy and make it really good to washing. And instead of water, which some recipes call for, we're going to use liquid soap. So I'm going to be using this orange Ajax and then spread it around a little bit. Now it's probably going to start to fizz a little bit. So we need to just go ahead and get our whisk. And I'm just going to just slowly add this in. I don't want to work it too much because it's going to see it's already starting to foam up a little bit. Now if you don't have a whisk or you want to just get in there with your hands, that's okay too. We just want to make sure we get all the powder completely wet. Now there's one more thing we want to add and that's our essential oils. So I'm going to go ahead and add about 15 drops of my orange. You can see it comes out pretty fast. It's a very thin oil. Okay, so we're going to stir it up and get this all blended in. Now, like I said, you could just sort of get your hands in there because we're going to need to get this into the molds. So let's just go ahead and grab one of these. <clears throat> you can just take it. It's, it feels sort of like a wet marshmallows or wet sand. So we're just going to just rub it in. Just like put some in there and just rub it over it. I'm not really packing, but you know, you can press down a little bit to get it in there. Now these are going to need to sit for about, uh, you know, you could leave them for about six hours to dry because once they dry, they're going to be really hard like concrete. Can you believe how easy this is? I mean, it's so simple and you could probably double this recipe, triple it if you want to make them um, in advance and have them ready to go. So that was a good, good um, recipe for this because I'm about out. Okay, so these need to dry thoroughly, so we're going to leave them here for about four to six hours, maybe check them. You can leave them overnight if you want to dry and they will get really hard and easy to pop. So, be back in a few hours. We're back and we waited until this morning to check our pods. Let's take a look now and see how they turned out. So, to get them out of this silicone, it's really easy. We're just going to sort of stretch it so we don't break them up and just go ahead and just put all the pressure on the back of them to pop them out and so this is how they turned out not too bad huh 
and they smell wonderful with the orange essential oil that I used. So I just want to get this one out carefully. And we can go ahead and start to just put them in our air jar and have them ready for use. Now, if you noticed, I have 10 on each of these. So what we made is enough for 20 dishwasher loads. Now this is small, so if you have a big machine and you're washing a lot with pans and everything, you might want to plop maybe two in there. It's up to you. But this is equivalent to about a tablespoon of dishwashing powder. So if you decided you didn't want to use the molds and you just wanted in a powder form, you can do it exact same formula. Um, it is going to be a little different in the consistency. It's not going to be like a powder that you would buy from the store because we have the liquid soap in it. So this is really cool. I mean, I, I'm so thrilled that they turned out so nicely and they're coming out really easily. So isn't that nice? Now we just can have our jar ready to go. You just grab one and drop it in. And this is gonna save you hundreds of dollars every year when you make your own dishwasher tabs. So hope that helps. Thanks for watching and I hope that you'll subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to click that button to get your notifications of when we have a new video coming up. And if you want more great recipes for cleaning with essentials, check out my latest book that's called Cleaning with Essential Oils. This is Rebecca Tatila. Thanks for watching.